Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And I did not think we would be talking about uh, Willie's Willie's chocolate experience again. That that is the <laughs> disastrous Willy Wonka esque adventure in Scotland that mm -hmm. the police were called and people were ripped off and they were given like a what quarter cup of lemonade to the kids and, and, some, and a couple jelly beans. A couple jelly beans and the Oompa Loompas looked like they were hoping for death to come quickly. Um, it became an internet sensation and now the guy behind this magnificent production says his life is over. Uh, it's ruined his life. <sighs> So well, I'm sure it probably has ruined his life more than it did. Like the kids are upset when they came to the event, you know? Uh, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, what did you expect oh, when boy. you showed one thing and offered another? Yeah, right. So let's uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woo this is coming from the Metro. Willy Wonka event organizer says his life is ruined. Now, people, of course, because the internet, being the internet have gone to the level of calling him and telling him to kill himself. They're going to kill him. Yeah, kind of don't stuff. do don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> Bill, Billy Cool, Cool, Cole is director of the House of Illuminati, the events firm behind the Willie's Chocolate Experience. But my next thing is, how many events that they do before this? Is this the only event they've done? Because then you would know this is not an event. This whatever I, you put out was I not, was I not know. the case. Uh, he's in a documentary already, man, they didn't waste any time. A documentary mm -hmm. on Channel 5 about how the controversy affected him personally. My life has been turned around. My life is ruined. I was hoping for an event that would be joyful and happy. I wanted people to experience <laughs> happiness. Also, leave your money at the door. Okay, but if you just wanted like a cheap event that to make people happy, charging like 40-some bucks a ticket, um, American is probably not the way to do it. Well, no, he wanted to be happy. It says it follows after Mr. Cole announced he had canceled a dream destination wedding that was due to be funded with the ticket sales, as well as finally moving out of his, out of his family home. Wait, does he, wait. So he lives at home. But, but is this what the person he was marrying or his like parents? I think he lives with his parents and he was hoping the money from this event would, would get him out of the house. Okay. And he was going to use the, the, the ridiculously high tickets to pay for his his dream destination wedding. Yes, and moving out of his parents' house, apparently. Or out of the house, family home, yes. Fa yeah. And Whatever that means. I, I'm looking at this guy, I'm like, dude, you look like you're our age. Like, what the heck? Um, I <laughs> said the Willy Wonka experience organized by Mr. Cole's company went viral after what had been billed as a magical rolled doll inspired day ended in disaster with children crying and police <laughs> arriving at the venue to calm crowds of furious families who had gathered to demand a refund from no, the firm. We, do we know if they got refunds? I don't think, I don't, I don't know if they did or not. And I said, I was saying to you, did the actors get paid? Cause the actors said they didn't know if they were going to get paid. Um, last we heard they had not gotten paid and that was a couple weeks ago, but you know what? I'm not really, I'm not really keeping up with this day to day. Mm -mm. Um, but you wanted to, uh, you wanted to play his clip here. Oh wait, yeah, real quick, but. For 35 pounds of pop, organizers had promised a chocolate fantasy like never before. When someone <laughs> says, I got a chocolate fantasy for you, I, the answer is usually wow. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I should have tried OnlyFans instead. All right, let's, uh, let's turn the audio on. Let's listen to this. The script itself was created and written by myself. Oh, oh, yeah, written. okay, pause it. So, yeah, there was talk that the, the script was AI written. Yeah. He claims that he did write it himself, but he has dyslexia, and so he needed the AI to spell check for him. And even though, they, you know, the coon track that somebody got instead of a contract and all that was still in there, and the AI was supposed to do, like, look for continuity errors but it meanwhile was supposedly like a bubble was going to pop in his hand and light was going to drift to the ceiling and all this stuff that there was no way possible so either the ai wrote it or he wrote it uh, yeah i i don't i don't think disney could even pull that one off be very very clear on, the, on this matter i suffer with dyslexia i've had to run it through ai to be able to check spelling drama and continuity um, okay. Uh -huh. He seems. I don't know. He seems like. I feel. I feel like we talked about this a little bit before, and this isn't meant to be disparaging, but he do, he does seem like he's on the spectrum a little bit or something. Something. Yeah. Um. 
because there, there, there definitely is, I don't know, just because he's not making eye contact. I mean, it could be because, you know, he just ripped a bunch of people off too. But, uh, yeah. You look like a villain Psychopath or a scum. Saying that I'm a horrific dad. I'm, I'm better off dead. I should kill myself. Oh my yeah, God. see, that's not that's not acceptable. No, that I mean, like, yeah, is it is it kind of sleazy? Yeah, is this the same guy that was telling them to, uh, like, when they were getting angry, he was telling them to like go away or something? I don't know. I don't know. I remember there was a guy like in the back of a truck. They were kind of like following him around. Like, would recommend ending it soon. My life has been pumped up down. My life. Is, is ruined. Well, well, I believe that he's upset and the life's ruined, but and, and I'm and I'm not condoning that in any way, shape, or form because I mean they're taking it awfully far. But yeah, the website showed one thing: you promised something and then you delivered that. All right, I don't know, <laughs> but you're also saving money for expensive destination wedding. Is that why you were limiting the? To, you know, it was, it was looked like this, and you were limiting the drinks to a quarter cup of lemonade. Yeah, well, I, I uh, look, I, I think he was trying to pocket as much money as possible because he had to pay for that uh, dream wedding and and uh, pay to move out of his parents' house. And this rental for this and everything else. <sighs> In his interview, he said that, yeah, they told him to kill himself. He was a devil, a villain, and a terrible father. Some people are actually taking it uh, in stride. I know the guy who played... Uh, not Willie, or no, I guess it's just Willie, whatever his name is. It's not Wonka. Because well, Wonka's not Wonka, yes. Wonka's trademarked. He was taking it in stride. He was a comedian. And also uh the girl who played the unknown turned out she was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And that was that was actually kind of surprising. Uh but uh yeah, she was young and she was kind of it seemed like she was kind of enjoying the attention, you know. But um so it's not all it's not all doom and gloom for other people associated. You may it may have actually helped their careers a little bit and been like, oh, yeah. Well, so far, I think that they said they were doing a musical version of it, and there's a, <laughs> a horror film version they're going to oh make my God. of the experience. Oh, my God. I don't God. know if this guy's going to get paid, though. Yeah. So another person wrote, um, I know this was a bad experience, and I agree they should get their money back, but it's I not kid, upset kids. I genuinely hope Billy's okay. This is someone's mental health and life we're talking about. We say time and time again, be kind. He doesn't deserve death threats. I agree. Death threats are a little much, but... On the flip side is, you know, okay, so you pay all this money. You People drove hours in some cases to go to this event. Yeah. It was promised this one thing on the website where if you looked at the website, I mean, it was clearly AI. Yeah, um, we went we went over that. that and was, then yeah. you show up and then it looks like what it looked like. I can understand why people were pretty upset. Yes. And I don't know what he expected because the actors saw it and they're like, oh, my God, this better be a lot more than this. Oh, oh we're still setting up. We're still setting up. Yeah. And I, then um, speaking of the the some of the stuff from the show, though, I don't know how people took it or what, but it ended up in auction. Yeah. The record store in Glasgow rescued the coveted items from the trash. They threw them in the garbage. They threw everything away. And uh <laughs> there, here's a description of it. This is coming from uh, news.artnet.com. While a real life dud, the event has had a long life online, mostly thanks to a photograph from the experience depicting a sour faced actor in a green wig playing an Oompa Loompa while surrounded by random scientific equipment now known as the meth lab Oompa Loompa. Yeah. <laughs> the image has been relentlessly memed with an art gallery in Aberdeen recently offering their own take. Uh, but they're selling on eBay. This They sold. I wish I, I would have. Put a bit in because my kids would have wanted it, but that's okay. That looks like you probably just buy that film. Yeah, online. it's probably like a curtain or something from Amazon, but looks like it looks like Candyland. It looks like yeah, the, that's what it looks like. It's Candyland. Yeah, it looks like the Candyland box art or something. Um, yeah, this is crazy. They had oh the tunnel from the the uh, what they call it the it was the tunnel area. But the it was magical like, chocolate tunnel. But it was just like black and white. Hey strength. kids! Hey kids! Come on in to the magical chocolate tunnel. <laughs> Willie's magical chocolate tunnel. Bring your beans. Bring your lemonade. I, I just. We're all going to no, Willie's. You're allowed to bring food and drink into that part. So. I, I still want to see. I still want to see a mashup of of Willie's Wonderland in this. <sighs> like that would be amazing. Get Nick Cage to, to play a, a Willie. What's his face? Is that his official he, name? He can't talk. He just has to glare at people. He doesn't time. need to talk. 
Um, no, he can just be one of the parents, and he can just sit there and stare. <laughs> he just um, stare because he doesn't have a oh, Scottish accent, tunnel. right? The, the, the time tunnel. That's oh, the was. time tunnel. It's time. It's time to go into the chocolate hole, boys and girls. It's in the time tunnel. Um, so they rescued it, and put it on eBay, and they were using the money to 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 donate to charity. Yeah, medic- but I just thought it was funny that they put these on eBay. Oh, God, uh, yeah. So there we go, guys. You could have owned a, a piece of of uh, history, internet. I guess it's history. our pieces. It's, it's, yeah, you get all of them. Look at that! Wow. You know, I would have done it. Yes, I would have too. I would have decorated our studio with with I, this. Our stuff. kids would have been like they would have thought that was the greatest thing ever. I could have made our kids happy, but that's awfully expensive. I mean, probably could find the same thing online. Just, pre- just pre- use your imagination, just like you had to with the event. This is my new pretend back- it's sad and heartbreaking. This is my new uh, backdrop for for podcasts. There you go. <laughs> Keep a quarter cup of lemonade, fake lemonade, up on the on the display, and then some couple jelly beans. Couple, yeah. I'll drink my. Oh, I'll slowly sip my lemonade while uh, listening to the listening to the tea. But uh, that's- yeah, <laughs> that's all on Arnold Palmer if you mix them. But, yeah, that's right. Um, that's what you get. Like. Don't threaten, but I don't, I don't know what this guy expected. Like, clearly that was not what you offered was not at all what you promised. And people were going to definitely ask for their money back. I I don't know. I mean, I think telling him to kill himself over it is ridiculously going too far. But at the same time, parents who are very, very upset because their kids are very, very upset and they wasted they took time off from work or whatever, and they drove the whole way in, and they came hours and the parking and the gas and everything else. Um, I'm sure they were pretty upset. Yeah. I also would be upset, but I still wouldn't tell someone to kill themselves. No, no. I might say fuck you though. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know how much of that he's going to get because the wedding's off. I don't so. know if it's off. It's just not having a destination one. No. But well, they could have. I mean, you could have used this for wedding. You could have actually turned Kept it into it, yes Willie's wedding chapel. You know what the, the kicker is? People would pay to go to it now. They would. Like if you just like waited another week and just ran it again, as for what it, you know, as you know, as what it was, you would have been full house and they would have been happy to be there. Could have had like Oompa Loompa bridesmaids and uh, yeah. I'm been. just saying. I mean, you open this again, and and you, with the same prospect, you threw a lot of them away. You would have people lined up around the block. They'd be flying in just to go. I'm not kidding. Let's go get I'm married. Totally serious. In, let's go get married in Willie's Chocolate Tunnel. So if I were you, dude, it's like if you, Vegas. If you still had all the props and stuff, man, I would be, I would be leveraging that. Auction all those props off, and there you can go to, and, and make sure they're your the certificates of authenticity. There's your destination wedding. You can pay everybody back, pay your actors, still probably get your wedding. You just open it up another week, like next month. Same thing. People will fly in. You'll make more than enough money. You can probably charge twice as much and you'll get it. Where do you even buy a giant gummy bear? No, like you can. Uh, you actually can buy these. I've seen I was going to say, like, all the stuff you probably can buy because I can't imagine they would have made anything. <laughs> but, like, it, yeah, I don't know. Missed opportunity. Yeah, you could have had Willie's wedding chapel. I mean, just do chapel. it again. I mean, that's not the wedding chapel. This is an event. Just run the event again. But you probably got rid of all your stuff. They probably rented it or something. But I'm like, if you did, you'd probably get way more people and you make way more money. And you can pay everyone you owe money to. There you go. Get out of debt. All right. We got to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.